have you ever wanted to do something beyond your league something beyond your capabilities something that necessitates a very big stretch it could be a very ambitious project that you wanted to undertake or a very advanced degree that you wanted to pursue or even a fun travel place that you wanted to check off on your bucket list we all have these fears and anxieties when we are stretching ourselves beyond our capabilities our capabilities that we know we are capable of but we don't know what we are really capable of it could be our own self doubt it could be somebody telling us you can't do this or we are telling ourselves my life is perfectly all right now why do i need to stretch myself out of my comfort zone i'll now share with you an anecdotal travel experience of mine where i pushed myself through discomfort to lead to a very beautiful experience few months ago i was in prague to give a talk at the world molecular imaging congress i was not only excited to be in a new country but elated to be selected as a us ambassador at this prestigious conference during the conference i got a fleeting glimpse of prague in between my commute from the airport to the conference venues and in few days it was time to return home but as an ardent admirer of mountains and sunrises i didn't want to leave without watching the sunrise at paste bridge as some of you might know this is where the chronicles of narnia was shot this place was 2 hours away from prague with no public transport and i had only 5 hours to do this all the guided tours take about 10 hours and there was no way i could postpone my flight because i was coming back to a very packed schedule i was cautious about being a solo traveler and being a woman in a new country i was anxious that i will definitely miss the ma flight my brother warned me if you go you will miss the flight <laughs> as most of you might be guessing that i made a wise choice of not taking on this adventure and return home safely even i thought so for a minute but then my inner voice urged me that i need to watch this sunrise and i can't go home without it so this is where i pushed myself to go through this discomfort and focused on how to execute it i joined a local facebook group and found a driver who would drive me early in the morning to make it by sunrise and most importantly to land me back at the airport back in time so that i don't miss my international flight i woke up at 3 am as excited i was to see this sunrise there was also this anxiety in me i was constantly checking my gps in the car what if the driver would kidnap me <laughs> it was not worth it for the sunrise but luckily nothing happened and 2 hours later i reached this place where baste bridge was located after a few steps of hiking there i settled down to just in the direction of the sunrise to view this majestic sunrise from behind the rocks in few minutes the sun started coming up i could see the sun from behind the rocks and it was magical at that moment i thought it was every bit of the apprehension that i went through for the last 3 4 days to get here to watch this beautiful sunrise in few minutes it was getting brighter and brighter and the sun lit up the whole place i could see this majestic green landscape mountains with houses embedded there and a whole layer of clouds beneath me it was surreal to watch this view it was one of the most beautiful views that i had ever seen throughout my travels across the world at that moment i paused and i thanked myself for pushing myself through this discomfort 
to avail myself to this beautiful experience. And on my way back, I was reflecting the three takeaways that enabled me this experience. The first one was to rather focus on my self-doubt and all the fears about what could go wrong. I rather simultaneously focused on how to plan and execute about how I get there. And the second takeaway was to curate the resources and people that are needed for us to attain our goals. And the third takeaway was to never be complacent with myself. I could have been content that I visited Prague and even ate my favorite dessert there. But I didn't want to miss the sunrise. And I was able to do it because of my perseverance. You might now be wondering, have I always been this adventurous in my life? It's fun for me, but it definitely creates panic for the people around me, as you might guess. I was born in South India, raised in a very humble upbringing, in a family of no doctors or scientists. But even back then, when in India, engineering and medicine were the only two mainstreams to succeed in life, I was persistent that I want to pursue undergrad in B.Tech biotechnology. And thankfully, my parents supported this idea of mine against everybody's advice back then. And I graduated successfully from my undergrad in biotechnology while gaining deep knowledge in the field, while also honing my leadership skills through cultural activities. I was the student president of the cultural club without knowing how to even sing or dance. Who knows how I became the cultural club president. But it was very proud for me to see that the initiatives that I started back then are still being continued as the annual traditions of the university. And after four years, when I graduated, I took another huge leap in my life where I was totally dis uncomfortable and very scared and anxious because I was leaving my friends, peers, mentors to move to Chicago. I moved to the US when I was 21 years old in 2013 and landed there with just two bags and one hope to find a good research laboratory to pursue my biomedical research. I was so naive back then that I didn't even know that I have to take the appointment of a professor to meet with him. All I cared was I need to find a good research lab. I landed in the US, dropped my bags, freshened up, went and knocked his door. I didn't find anything that day, but eventually I did find a research lab. Being a first generation immigrant and coming into a field where there are no resources or limited opportunities. I not only had to create these resources and opportunities for myself, but also create the path that I traveled. And eventually, in three and a half years, I graduated with my PhD in bioengineering from University of Illinois, Chicago, while serving as a student president for the entire graduate students in the university. This barely left any personal time for me as you might have guessed. But I don't regret even a tiny bit of it because I led myself through many series of discomforting events. I pushed myself hard to equip knowledge in three different research areas in that short amount of time. And while being the student president, I was the only student in the room full of deans and department chairs. You might now guess how intimidating that could be. But rather than walking away, I chose to sit through that discomfort and actually enrich myself with this experience. And this made me confident to dream for anything and attain any purpose that I want to in my life. I never knew that day that I would currently be at Stanford University doing research on projects related to developing new imaging tools to detect aging in osteoarthritis. 
This would not have happened if not for my mentors who saw that potential in me which I didn't see in myself. I'm forever grateful to these mentors who have always nurtured my strengths and been a big support system in my life. It's very fulfilling to be able to pursue multiple research projects in biomedical research, one of which is elucidating the crosstalk between the brain and bone during Alzheimer's disease. It's very fulfilling to be able to develop region-specific interventions, to lifestyle interventions to prevent dementia. And also publish the expert recommendations for aging along with all the senescent scientists in the US. And tying back my hobbies into work, recently I launched Stanford Heritage Dance Series where we look at the intersection of how arts can benefit health. And all of this happened only because I kept pushing myself out of my comfort zone. I could have been very happy staying in Chicago because now that was my second home where I had built an extensive network of family and friends. But I chose to leave that comfort zone. It was not an easy decision to leave everything and move to the West Coast and start all over again. But I'm very glad I did because I would have missed in all these career opportunities. You might have guessed that all of these come with many sleepless nights, many obstacles on the way, many roadblocks. And as most of you, when you're in a difficult situation, even I asked myself, why me for all the challenges life threw at me? But I realized that going through each of these experiences not only made me stronger, but gave me confidence to tackle any challenge that life would throw at me. And from being a nerdy kid to now having an extensive set of friends in every city I'm traveling, and to pursue various hobbies like hiking, traveling around the world, shooting a Bharatanatyam video in every country I travel, it's nothing but been a holistic journey of life. And I'm very grateful for constantly building this discomfort muscle, which enables me to attain all my personal and professional goals that even I never dreamt of before. And I strongly believe that when our intentions are genuine and pure, the whole universe conspires to make it happen for us. And celebrating the tiny wins and victories on the way has just made me develop my discomfort muscle all over again. And this is because of these three lessons that I always adhere to. Rather than focusing on how difficult the problem is or how difficult the pursuit is, I always fo try to focus on planning and executing it by having short-term goals as well as long-term goals. And always, I made sure I surround myself with the right people and mentors in my life because that's what enabled me to get where I am today. And I'm very grateful to have these strong mentors and cheerleaders in my life. And finally, I'm never complacent with myself. Throughout my life, I've been my only competition constantly trying to be a better version of myself, both in the personal and professional fronts compared to my previous years. And now, I leave you with these three takeaways. Whenever you want to pursue something outside your league, which is beyond your capabilities and reach your stretch goals. Thank you.